They say, Lady, uh, your father is, uh, is having a serious problem with alcohol. Serious. And your father is having serious problem with alcohol. And I don't know, I'm just seeing, I'm hearing a name that starts with, is it Jimmy? I don't know. G, G, Jimmy. If you don't want to come out, God will take you out. Where is your father? I think he's at home, Haman's grand. You must pray for him. Eh? Yes, man of God. Your father is Jimmy? Yes. You must pray for him. Eh? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. The way, the way he's drinking is not good. A lot. Otherwise, he, he, won't, he won't reach the age where he's supposed to reach. Yes, that's what's you know always me? worrying me. Because sometimes, it's like he goes out. Yes. And comes back very late. Yes. So, today, I believe God will help him. you demon. You demon of the family. Come out! <laughs> Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Rufilo Malepa from Harangua. Uh, today, the man of God located me by speaking about my father who drinks a lot and which by this was affecting me. I think from last week, I've been worried a lot about him. I don't know, but I've been trying to reach him, but it was impossible for me to reach him. And then I started to worry, like always I'm worried about him because I know that he drinks a lot and... He's a person who's gambling, so whenever he gets money, it all ends by buying alcohol and buying for people alcohol. So that has been my worry, but since the man of God spoke to me today, I believe that God has delivered my father, because like this is that's all I've been crying for, like for him to be delivered, like my family to all be saved. So if God can deliver my father, then I believe that everything is done even for my younger sisters i believe that the whole family now we will start to follow god amen there's someone that you used to stay with i used to stay with yes mm. i don't remember huh? it's a lady a close relative we were close, we grew up together. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. I don't want to mention people's names. Yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes. <clears throat> I don't want to mention anyone's name. I don't want problems. Yes, man of God. Otherwise, to, tomorrow I'll be in. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, man of God. I don't want God. problems. Because I can tell you her name. She's. Fresh. Sometimes we fail to talk. It was you people, you are, you are people that are not matured in the spirit. And I think you have seen it. You know what I mean? Yes, man of God. Because of how the relationship is like. Yeah, we are huh? no longer, are no longer together. To each other. Yes. The way it's happening, you people. And she made, I'm seeing, it's like what I'm seeing, she even tried to, to make a relationship with the person that you're with. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Like your yeah. husband. That's true. Huh? Yes. And who's a sangoma? A sangoma. Because you people, you were like this. Yeah, we were huh? very close. When that's you were true. coming up, growing yes. up. Yeah, that's true. And now she destroyed everything about your marriage. Huh? That is true. That is true, man of God. And now they're very close with. 
That's true. So don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, ma'am. Because when you wake up here, yeah, you find there are snakes in the house. Yes, this that's and that. true. That is true. Uh, that many is true, things, many funny, God. funny things. That is true, man of God. So is this a spirit of jealousy, you know, that this person had jealousy about you. But the Bible says we're not fighting flesh and blood. That's true, man. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Learn to forgive and God will fight for you. Amen. Yeah? You are saying? Are you talking? You must leave this lady today. Come out! And you must leave your son. You demon. Come out! Lift her up. In Jesus' mighty name. I set you free. You're free. My name is Eunice uh, Kwezi, I'm from Pretoria. Uh, the prophecy I received today, uh, it was concerning my cousin, my cousin's sister that I grew up with. We were very close when we grew up and then now we are no longer in talking terms because he was too much involved in my marriage. And he, I also received the prophecy that he, she is very close to my husband, which is true. And she caused a lot of problems between the two of us. and. Even what Prophet said uh, that uh, he is jealous of me, that is true because he was always, when I do something good or something nice when it happens to me, she was never happy for me and she was always wishing, wishing me bad things and uh, I am happy about the prophecy because uh, even the, the prophecy also, the Prophet also talks up, talked about the snakes and funny things that I used to find in the house. It is true, like, uh, I think yes. some months back, uh, two, I found a black mamba three times in the house. The first one we killed it, like all of them we killed them, but next time it will come back again. And then there was also something that used to, to climb on the walls. I'll just see the fingerprints. And there was also, like every morning when I wake up, I'll find that there was something in the yard that like next to my door, I'll find some, uh, the waste on the door. I don't know what was that, but yeah, it is true. The prophecy is true. And I, I thank God for this prophecy because uh, this person, when the prophet said I must forgive her and let God deal with her, um, I, think, I thank God for this prophecy because actually it was very hard for me to, to forgive her because I loved her very much and I didn't expect her to do the things that she was doing to me. So today I thank God for the prophecy and I, I, I forgive her. Yes. And what are you believing God is going to do in your life now? I believe God that after this prophecy, uh, I'm, uh, I think everything will, will run smoothly in my life. Whatever that was stuck. Because I could see that even the stagnation were there because of her. But I, I, I thank God for the prophecy. And I believe that there will be success in my life. Amen. I want to pray for you. Oh, you remember? Because of your stagnation. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because I heard God tell me that you have done so many things, but there's nothing that is working out. Huh? Okay, so I yeah. want to pray for you so that God must release you from this. Huh? Okay, man of God. You want me to pray for you? Yes. Huh? Pray for me, yes. You want me to pray for you? Yes. Do pray for me, yes. Because <clears throat> there's a there's a business. That God wants to give you. Are oh, you hearing me? Uh, I've got a company called Tentler Holdings. Uh, but it hasn't yet started. There's a business. Oh. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm saying there's a business that God wants to give you. I'm okay. sure you're, did, did you ever speak with me before? Huh? I, no, no, no. So now I'm telling you, you're yeah. saying there's a company that you want to start. 
I'm looking at your financial status here. You are suffering. You know I me? Mean? Yeah. I'm so now home. God wants to give you a business. It's very close. It's coming. You're free. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, then hegle mo kregeng what happened ko hore ne krapela krapela then as am ne krapela then u dirahetse hore ho mo funung yak o tsene lengwalo lengwalo lo lompotsa hore ke boela mmerokong and it's true uh, men of course u tlile honna are ke khwetsa ke tlo khwetsa mmerako tlo khwetsa le Le, le business and ke bone lo mo letheng mo funung ya ka right now as i'm speaking or ona le le tenda e tsole lang mo under my name uh, in my line then ona le ke bela mero go ngi bile very soon is is confirmed and also you talked about the struggle of finances yeah uh, i've struggled for 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 for, for, for 24 months uh, uh, we, I had finan financial problems. It's true. My 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 account was going down. Uh, I remember there was a point in uh, a time a point in time where uh, my account was more than four hundred and fifty to sixty four hundred and sixty thousand rand. And uh, Honano, uh, for the past twenty four months, it has been going down. Like every month, it is it was going down. Like now, I was starting to stress because uh, my account is going below two hundred thousand rand. And uh, I, uh, I did uh, uh, like it's going to zero now. I didn't know what to do. Like now, uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very excited uh, with what I saw in my phone right now. While I was praying in church, the the uh, and the email came into my f phone that uh, uh, I'm going back to work. That gives me confidence that my uh, 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 my budget my budget will grow going forward. Then I will be able to take care of myself and my. My my wife and son, uh, I was stressing all along as to how I'm going to answer this situation. But now I've got confidence now that I'm going to work back to work, and there's a possibility of getting uh, tenders or business very soon. As I saw it in my phone right now, to confirm, it's a matter of going to the relevant office and sign and, and giving it a signature. So uh, I'm very pleased and very very excited. Uh, uh, and rata mudi mo maka o charisi mora wa re ke le calendar then di ntho tse tse di pila di thoma ho tla hona no i've been waiting i think the grace this is the the the, the grace answered me yeah. amen sister where is your husband i don't have a husband i'm staying with a boyfriend huh i don't have a husband you don't have a husband yeah but we need to cancel this spirit, huh? This spirit that is visiting you. Are oh, you hearing me? Yeah. Because you and your person, you always fight. Yeah. An issue of a marriage is becoming a story. No one is married in my family. I'm the That's first one. I'm saying it's becoming a yeah. story to you. It's a drama. Yeah. You people just stay with people like this. You yeah, all of no us. Marriage. So I want to pray for you that you must be the first one. Leave it. Oh. I set you free in Jesus' name. And you people must stop issues of alcohol. Eh? You're free.
My name is Constance. I'm from Zimbabwe. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy that I received today is about marriage because in our, in our family we are five girls. All of us were not married. It's 100% true. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting us a lot because all of us we have got kids but we are not married. We are staying with boyfriends. Yeah. No one in my family is married. We are five girls. All of us were not married. And were you praying that God should locate you in this problem? Yes, I was praying. And I believe today they were going to speak to me. And, and now that they've prayed for you and also delivered you, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? I'm feeling happy. I believe that God has done it. As long as they've prayed for me and... I believe that I will be married in Jesus' name. My brother, this, there's something that I want to tell you that you need to do today. Eh? Oh, you hear me? Stand up. These people, yes. They are, there's a SIM card that you need to throw away. Yeah? Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. There's a SIM card of, what is this, like 081. Yes. Huh? Yes. Zero eight one four zero nine yes. zero yes. five one five. Yeah, that's my number. Huh? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So today you must throw this SIM card away. Because many people they are tracing you with your contacts. I was telling my wife the same thing. So today, when the church is out here, tomorrow you must, you must get a new SIM card. SIM card is like 10 rand. Amen. You go, there are many Indians here. Go and find a SIM card. I'll do so. And destroy this SIM card because it's destroying your life. Well, I'll do so. Are you hearing me? Yes. So this 081, throw it away. I'll do so. I'm Wukosim Songo, coming from Gongoa in Zanin. Confirmed it to be true because I, I was telling my wife uh, for, for a while and I've been telling her that I, I, I want to change the number. Uh, but there were people who were discouraging me, but at the end, and now it's a confirmation from God because it, I felt like it was not only even the number, even on Facebook and a lot of things, on a lot of platforms, I ended up blocking them and everything because I felt like I'm being followed everywhere I go because of these things. And how was this affecting you? Uh, everything was blocked because everywhere you go you just get attacks. Yeah. So it was very difficult living like that because even if you are traveling it's like you feel like people are following you. And now, what is it that you have decided to do as the man of God has given you a word of guidance? Right now, it's all about uh, finding the, the truth in the Lord, seeking Him more and being truthful in everything that I do. Because what brought me here was the truth. So, and I've received the truth and my deliverance and I'm happy for that. You really need to pray, and I believe God must also help your children. Okay. I don't want to say many things because they just spoke with you people. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, but this this girl, she needs serious prayers, and I believe you people, you didn't just waste time by coming here. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So, where's your husband? I'm divorced. Everything that has been happening to you people, it has affected the children. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Yes. Emotionally, they've been affected. But today I'll pray for you and even your child. I already you probably got prayer. So my girl, you don't need to be worried about anything. Eh? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So you don't need to be worried about anything that is happening in the family. Okay. So God will help you and I believe you people, you'll come out of this situation. Amen. Are you Amen. Ready, Mama? Amen. Because 
devil can end up bringing a fight about the children. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, but when it comes, this fight, you must pray. God will fight for you. You're free, my girl. Can you take off this? You're a visitor. We'll tell you more. God bless you. Uh, my name is Francesca. I'm from London. And uh, this is my daughter, Victoria. Uh, you've just received yet another prophecy. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Um, it was regarding my daughter. I can't really remember what they said. Um, but what I remembered is um, the prophet saying my divorce had something to do with it, what is affecting the, the kids. Can you tell us your name, where you come from? And also tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it. My name's Victoria, I'm from London. And he told me that I'm facing a lot of challenges regarding my mum's divorce. Is this true? Yes, yes. How did it affect you? Um, I'm, I don't know, just difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. And when the man of God spoke to you and your mum about what is happening at a home, how did you feel? A bit shocked. I wasn't expecting to be picked out. Yeah. And now what are you believing God is going to do for your family? I believe he's going to deliver our family and give us the answers that we've been praying for. Amen. And Mama, were you aware that your children are affected about the divorce that is happening? Uh, not at all, no. It was a surprise to me, actually. Yeah, so um, he said, uh, the prophet said he was going to discuss further, so we look forward to that. Amen. And what are you believing God for? Um, to make things right. Amen. God wants to give you a job. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. God wants to give you a job. Amen. Because you've been praying for that. Amen. No more living by managing. Amen. Come on. Live here, live here. Don't touch it, live here. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free, my girl. My name is Murende, and I'm currently staying here in Tembisa. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God told me about that I'm going to get a job and I will stop living with managing, which is true. All, all the time I'll always manage to live and uh, yeah, I believe that I'm going to get a job. And for how long have you been searching for a job? Two years now. And the fact that you've been searching for two years, how was it affecting you? It was very affecting because now I have to live on my mom's uh, grant, so she has to give me money to pay rent and food and everything. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? Oh, I'm very excited, I'm very happy and I believe God that I'm going to get the job. Amen. Amen. This person that was paying for school fees yes. of the children yes. decided to withdraw. Yes, huh? yes, I know. So now there's a burden now yes. of these children. Huh? Yes. So because they were somewhere, yes. they had to come back. Yes. You okay there? Yes. So now I want to pray for you. There are many, many business connections that are still coming. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Amen. You can't fail to afford these children. In Jesus' name. So for me, I want to pray so that they must go back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's my only prayer is that, Hallelujah. that God will give you money Amen. and 
I want them to go back. In Jesus' name. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because removing the children where they are to come here is like it's affecting everything about them. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because of the environment. Yes. So, but God will bless you. Hallelujah. There's a breakthrough that is coming. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Comfort Gwenyama from Four Ways in Johannesburg. And uh, the uh, prophecy that I got was about that I shouldn't worry about my children and their school fees and uh, what's going to happen to them because in the past uh, uh, <coughs> their father was paying for their school fees and then he withdrew because he could no longer afford and he had t taken my son to a UK school for high school which was very expensive but he became financially indigent so he, my son had to be withdrawn from school and um, the man of God said uh, and also my daughter had to be withdrawn from her school in Cape Town and moved to Joburg and so that I could manage them here which is what is happening now the man of God said that uh, I mustn't worry because God is connecting me with many business opportunities that will allow me enable me financially to care for them and to pay for their school fees in fact they will even return to UK where they were before where, where my son was before so that he, they, he doesn't get affected by the change in the environment in his studies and I can be able to afford it uh, because of the blessing that God is bringing in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to pray for your children. Are you me? Yes. We need to pray for your children. Yes. Huh? Yes. When you people grow up no? in the family, are you hearing me? Yes. When you grow up, you grow up very difficult. Yes. So now let's pray that these children must not face what you people you have been facing. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Let's pray for them. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's a boy. Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. What is he? Yeah. Huh? Which language do you speak, Mama? No, I say yes. I'm saying there's a boy. Yes. What is he? Okay, his name is... Okay, it's my son. He's not working. I'm saying there's a boy. Don't tell me. Okay. Just say yes, he's around. I'll tell you. Okay, he's around. So let's pray for him to get a job. Thank you. Because this thing is affecting you. Thank you. Are oh, you hearing me? Thank you. For these children now to come back and depend on whatever that is not there. Thank you. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you. So go and tell him, all your children, God will, will, God will bless all of them. Go and tell him there's a job that is coming. Lift her up. Are you hearing mama? Yes. You're free. God bless you. God wants to give you a better job. Eh? Are you hearing me? I receive. Are you not tired of the bank? I'm tired. You are tired? Yeah. Because they've been paying you small. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. God wants to give you a better job, and there's issue of God will give you also a, a car. I receive. Come here. God wants to give you a new job. Are you hearing me? I receive. Stop counting money that you don't have. 
Are you me? I receive. So God want to give you a better job that will give you a car. A very nice car. Because you people you're just counting money, counting money, but in your own accounts there's nothing. Yeah. So God will bless you and your enemies will fall for your sake. You're free. God bless you. And my name is Kurula Blessing Dumela. I come from Kujwana village in Zani. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God prophesied that I will receive a new job. I have been applying. I went for interview last week at Standard Bank Bulogwan. For how long have you been searching for a job? I've, I'm, I'm currently working, but I've been applying for a better position. Yeah, it's been two years now. Yeah. And how has uh, this affecting you? Uh, I've been struggling financially, and it's been difficult for me to afford some of the things with, with the current salary that I'm earning now. Yeah. And now that uh, the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe that God, uh, what the man of God said will come to pass. And I believe that uh, God will elevate me to the next dimension. Level. Not you. I'm seeing someone there. Your name is Lewe. Huh? Yes. Let's break a spirit of disappointments. Are you with me? Yes. Let's break a spirit of disappointments that has been following you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because every time when you get someone, it's like they just come in to, to bring problems to you. That's true. Huh? Yes. And this has been breaking your heart. Yeah. But God said, I must tell Lebu that there's marriage here in Charis. This marriage in Charis is coming. It's very close. My name is Lebu and I'm staying in Midwest. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The man of God, Prophet Andres, called me out by my name and he said, there's a lady here by the name of Lebu. And then I came out and then he told me about the spirit of disappointment that has been following me, that I've been meeting wrong people who have been disappointing me and that has been hitting my heart. And I confirm the prophecy to be very true and some few guys have disappointed me in my life and I was really hurt and he mentioned that there's a wedding here in Cherries that is coming. Yes. And how was this affecting you? It was really hitting me. Because to a point where I ended up saying that, you know what, um, I'm just going to be single and focus on God. Because uh, many guys have been disappointing me in my life. So, yeah. And now that the man of God has prayed for you and also told you what was happening in your life, what are you now believing God is going to do for you as you have received your own deliverance? And now that I'm delivered, I believe that my marriage is coming and is coming from right here in Charis. I'm seeing you working in a place. I'm seeing a counter. Huh? Um, Yes, there are counters I'm, where I'm working. I'm seeing counters. Yes. Huh? Yes. I don't know. I'm seeing people that are wearing, is it purple? Pardon? Who wears purple? Um, I'm not sure. Huh? I'm, I'm not seeing sure. you wearing shirts. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this shirt I'm seeing, it's like, I'm seeing a counter that is doing like this. Huh? Yes. And I'm seeing you standing here, there's a, where you're pressing like this. 
Um, sometimes when they're short staffs, I help by this counter. You help by what? I help by the counter sometimes when they're short staffs. You help by the counters. Yes, yes. There's a promotion that is coming. <laughs> Um, my name is Lawa Hangra Mafuku. I come from Ivory Park. Um, the prophecy that I received was about where I work, their counters. And yes, that is true, their counters. Um, the prophet also said that he sees me working the counter, which is very true. Sometimes when they're short staffed, um, I help where help is needed. And when he's talking about promotion, I believe they also, they've also been tracking because. They'll just uh, take me wherever that they are short. They'll just take me to work in any position that I'm not even qualified for. So I confirm the um, prophecy to be true. And the words of encouragement. Um, okay, I've been receiving this prophecy for a lot of time right now. And what I would like to encourage the viewers is that they must just hold on until it happens. They must just not lose hope. As I'm still waiting and I'm not doubting the faith that I have right now, I believe that the time will come and I will be blessed and indeed God is great. Thank you. <laughs> you, you, you are healed. You need healing. You are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You, you are healed. I want to pray for you. I want to speak with that lady. It's like this. Yes. Well, there's a same problem. Yes. <clears throat> my, my advice for you is stop turning around. Amen. Amen. No? Amen. Stop turning around what? Churches. Amen. Find yourself a church. You'll find yourself a husband. Uh, I'm from Northern Cape. I have a church there. You've got a church there? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But stop turning around. I am around. new in Johannesburg. Oh, you're ready? Amen. Stop doing what? Turning around. Church. Find yourself what? Church. A what? Church. <laughs> so you've got a church? Huh? It's not mine. Like, I attend church in, in, in Northern Cape. You preach? No. <laughs> uh, let me not speak further. I want to pray for you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? I want to pray for you, but let's break a spirit of disappointment. Amen. Also. Huh? Amen. Let's break that spirit. It's very bad when, when, if I'm speaking with you, you need to be open because automatically God tells me everything about you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. So now when I, if I ask you something, you speak that this, I'll continue. Amen. Because I don't want to sin before God. Amen. And I don't want you to affect my spirit. But God is going to help you. Amen. There are good things that are coming to you. No more disappointments. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name. I remove you from this cage. In Jesus' name, you're free. Kibuna Lena from Northern Cape. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, everything is true. Um, like in a relationship, most of the relationship is like a man but what in bad and then bad or but I'm good sabot to go fell about am I so you can have a good morning you can have a good today and for how long has this been happening you 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 I said 10 years mm. and how was it affecting you too much too much I pray for it like every day every day hope I'm doing more I'm pay the right partner as I'm a prophetess where I came from so I don't know why it's a little because of this thing I affect every every now and then and most of the time I get back to like you and because of keep it or if care for relationship in care for love to have so key kill a woman with him 
and how do you feel that today you were located about this problem that was affecting you and also today you have received your deliverance what are you also believing God is going to do I'm so happy because KJ again to get some more on a kitchen more on a kitchen to me to tap 